Israel sounds alarm after Syrian missile strikes near nuclear reactor. The Israel Defense Force said the missile was a Syrian surface-to-air rocket and exploded in the Negev region in the south of the country. There were no immediate reports of any injuries or damage in Israel. In response to the missile launch, the IDF said they have attacked several missile batteries in Syria including the one which fired the projectile. Israel's army radio also reported a missile had been fired at Israeli aircraft during an earlier strike and overshot its target. It comes after the IDF alerted that sirens, usually triggered in the event of a rocket attack, have been sounded in the southern Israeli district of Abu Krenet near the Dimona nuclear reactor. A Reuters reporter about 90 kilometers, 56 miles, away from the site also heard the sound of an explosion minutes before the IDF alerted residents via text message. Residents from across the country, including central Israel and Jerusalem, reported hearing loud explosions that shook the houses, according to the Jerusalem Post. Syria's state news agency said Syrian air defenses intercepted the Israeli attack that targeted areas in the Damascus suburbs. They said, air defenses intercepted the rockets and downed most of them. The attack took place at around 1.38 a.m. local time and targeted areas in the Damascus suburbs, the agency added. The Dimona nuclear facility was not hit, according to an Israeli military spokesman. Israel has been strengthening air defenses around the Dimona reactor and the Red Sea port Eilat. In recent weeks, Israeli media outlets have been concerned about a possible long-range missile or drone attack by Iranian-backed forces perhaps from as far away as Yemen. It comes after Iran and Israel have seen tensions surge over Tehran's nuclear program. Iran's Natanz nuclear site, its main uranium enrichment facility, was targeted earlier this month in a cyber attack. Ali Reza Zakhani, head of the Iranian parliament's research center, said thousands of machines used to refine nuclear material were destroyed or damaged in the attack. Iran has blamed Israel for the attack, regarding it as an act of nuclear terrorism.